Alright guys, welcome back. This is part 2 of making a hacked client. In this video, we're going to make the main class in the module-based system. So, let's go ahead and make a new package and name it your client name dot main. So in here, let's make a new class and let's just name it your client name. I'm going to do spike for instance. And in here, let's do private final string client underscore name equals let's do spike your client name and we can do the version if you want that'll be the same thing but a double so next thing we gotta do is make a private oh, private static um, spike spike equals a new spike the client name uh, your client class, this one right here. So we have a universal one. And in here, let's go underneath it and do public static spike get instance. And let's just return spike, the spike object. So the last thing we need in this class is public static void initialize client and there shouldn't be anything in here since we actually haven't made anything we could instantiate this in there but let's just keep it simple for now um after this just save that and make a new package and name this your main uh, client name dot module so what we're going to do is this class contains all of the um, the class in here called module we're going to make. This class is pretty much the base of all hacks we're going to make. So in here we have private string name and description of the module. We'll have private int key and color of the mod. And we'll also have private category category of the mod and you're gonna get an error because we haven't actually made that and lastly private boolean um, is enabled and save so whether the thing is on the module and if it's saved on or not so in module let's just go ahead and make the new category enum and name it category and in here let's capitalize and type in player movement combat render world and GUI all the kinds of hacks there will be so let's go into module again and let's do public module a constructor and in here Let's do string n, um, string d, int k, and category c. So let's do name equals n, description equals d, key equals k, and category equals c. So you should have those four in the constructor. And now we need to do some getters and not really setters, but we'll do public string get name. Now you can generate them through source, but it doesn't really matter. This one takes a little bit more time. So return name, getting the name of the client. Public string get description. Return description and we can do public int get bind or you can do key bind doesn't really matter return key and public int get color return color and lastly public category get category 
Return category. Oh. Public boolean. Get state. Return is enabled. And now let's do this next method called toggle module where you just toggle the mod. Public void toggle mod. So let's do this dot set state the opposite of get state. So you're going to get an error because we don't actually have the set state method. So we'll go ahead and make that in a second. Um, underneath this, let's do public final void set keybind into K. And this, I can just do key equals K again. Now, public void on enable. And this will turn on on every mod. So I'm going to do random generator equals new random. This is for the random color generation. String builder sb equals new string builder sb dot append oh. oops control shift o now we're gonna do sb dot append um, two quotes ox sorry my dog started barking so we're gonna do ox there and Finish that, and I'm going to do while sb.length is less than 10. Then we're going to append a random number to it, sb.append integer dot to hex string um, gen dot next int. So semicolon there, and then after the while um, chunk. Do sb dot set length ten and color equals integer dot decode sb dot two string dot int value. So pretty complex way to set a color. Let's go down and make a public void on disable. And nothing's going to be in there. Public final boolean is category. Category C. So if a passed in category is an actual category that exists. Um, if C equals category. Or if it's part of. If this category passed in is the same as this modulus category. Then it's going to. Return true. Or we could just do return C equals category. Much faster. So now we're going to do public void set state boolean B is enabled equals false. I mean B, sorry. On toggle. Should get an error there. If is enabled, then we're going to do on enable. Else on disable. Oh, make that on enable. So, gotta do now is. We have to make the on toggle method, so just do public void on toggle. So it just happens just when the mod is toggled. Um, oh, on toggle. Okay, and now I gotta do public final void set savable 
boolean b um, save equals b two more public final boolean is savable boolean b if oh return b equals save again and lastly public boolean is savable oh uh to so get save return save so this is the module class um it's pretty big but yeah that's pretty much how to do this part and now we'll have to do some hooking and stuff and yeah see you guys on the next one